Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can take screenshots using Robot Framework. So let's begin. So here my PyCharm is open and uh, here I will create a new robot file. So let us name this robot file as screenshot.robot and if I press enter, this will create a new file. So before starting, let us see what we are going to do today. So I've opened my Chrome and inside my Chrome, I've opened practice selenium.com. So this was the website that we were using in some of our videos. So today again, we are going to use this website. We are going to take screenshot of this logo and we are going to take the screenshot of this whole website. So how you can do is I'm going to write here. First, I'm going to create one section, which is the setting section here inside my setting section. My library will be there. So Selenium library is my library. And after that, we don't need variable section. So I will directly go on to the test cases section inside my test cases section. I'm going to give my test case a name as let's say screen robot and inside our screen robot indentation we are going to write our program. So first of all, I'm going to open the browser. So for that open browser and after writing open browser, I will go to my website here. I'll copy the URL and I'm going to paste the URL here and this URL will be open onto our Chrome browser. And after it is open onto our Chrome browser, we will maximize the browser window. And now let's go on to our website here. Here, Let's suppose we need to take a screenshot of this particular cup. So what we are going to do is I'm going to right click onto this. I'm going to inspect this image. So this is our image. I'm going to right click onto it. I will copy the X path by going to copy and copy X path or I can directly go on to the selectors hub or crow path and I can directly copy the relative X path from here or you can directly right click onto the image. You can directly go onto selectors hub and copy the relative X path for this image here. Now I am going to go to my PyCharm and here I will write capture element screenshot. So what this will do is this command will only take the screenshot of that particular element that we choose. So here we copied the X path for that cup image. So I'm going to write X path and I'm going to paste the X path which we copied. So, and after that, I will specify the name of the screenshot that we are going to take. So let's say I'm going to write the name of my image as let's say cup.png. So what is this cup.png here? Cup.png, after writing our X path, we gave two tabs and we wrote cup.png. So this cup.png will be our screenshot. And cup will be the name of the our, our screenshot and dot png will be the extension of our screenshot. So cup dot png will be our screenshot. So now after that, I want to capture the whole website. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'll type capture page screenshot. So what this command will do is this will capture the whole website's screenshot and will save it as whatever name we give. So let's say this screenshots name will be website.png. So now this capture page screenshot, what it will do is it will capture a screenshot and that screenshot will be named as website and its extension will be .png. So website.png will be the screenshot of our whole website. So now after that, let's say I want to close my browser. So I'll close the browser and after closing my browser, what this code is doing it is opening the browser. It is going on to this particular website here practiceselenium.com and this website is opening onto our Chrome browser. After that, it is maximizing the browser window and after that it is going to capture the screenshot of the image of cup. So this is the X path for the cup image and this, the, this is the name of our screenshot cup.png. And after that we have written capture page screenshot. Now this will capture the whole website screenshot and it will be named as website.png. 
and after that it will close the browser. So now let's try to run our code. So here I'll write robot and then I'm going to specify my directory name which is automation and after that I'm going to write my name of my robot file. So screenshot.robot is the name of a file. So I press enter. This will run our code. So once it is loaded, it will maximize the browser window and it will take the screenshot and our browser will be closed. So it was so fast and you see our test is passed. So now if I minimize this, it took a screenshot. So now question arises, where is this screenshot? Let us find it. So I'll go to my projects panel. Here you will see in our automation directory only, we have two files along with the log file, output file and the report file, which, which are the cup.png and the website.png that we wrote here. So these are the two screenshots that robot file created. So these screenshots are by default saved into your projects path. So our project was in the automation folder. So inside our automation folder, both of our screenshot cup.png and website.png are saved. So if I double click onto this cup.png, you see this cup.png came. So this was the screenshot of that particular element, which was the cup image. This cup image, the capture element screenshot, this took this images screenshot here, this images screenshot. And if you open this website.png, this is the whole website's screenshot that this command took. So capture page screenshot, this has taken a screenshot called as website.png and this is our image file. So this is how you can take the screenshot. And one more thing, like if you want to save this screenshot anywhere else onto your computer, then you can directly give the path. Now suppose I want to save this website.png somewhere else. So what I can do is I can directly write, I can directly, let's say I want to go on to this documents folder and I want to save this screenshot in my documents folder. So I'm going to copy this whole thing and I am just going to paste the path here. So D inside my documents and after giving one backslash, you will see website.png. What this will do is this will save this website.png onto our D and documents folder. So this is how you can take screenshot and you can save those screenshot anywhere on your PC. And this is a code. So what you need to do is first you will open the browser. We will give the URL of whichever website you want to take the screenshot of and then we will specify the browser on which we want to perform our test. And after that we are going to maximize the browser window. Then we wrote capture element the screenshot and we gave that elements x path here. So this will capture the elements screenshot and will be saved as cup.png. So this is the name of our screenshot and PNG is the format of that PNG file. So cup.png will be a screenshot and capture page screenshot. This what this will do is this will capture the whole web page screenshot and this will be saved onto this location here and this is the name of a screenshot and this is the format of a screenshot mm, this will close our browser so this is how you can take a screenshot and save those screenshots anywhere on your pc using robot framework so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.